Hey, what's going on? This is Russell Mari, founder of sqspthemes.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Shopify with your Squarespace site. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, a few years ago, I had a client who needed an alternative payment gateway. So no uh, PayPal, no Stripe. Um, it had to be a third party payment gateway. And so what we did, we didn't want to abandon um, our Squarespace site. So what we did was we used Shopify Lite, which allows us to embed a buy button. Um, and that's how we were able to still keep our Squarespace front end um, and have a completely different checkout experience for customers. So, um, you know, that's one of the reasons why you might want to do this, right? Let's say you want to use Afterpay. Um, you can't do that with Squarespace. So, you know, you would want to use something like Shopify. But again, Squarespace is superior, I think, in my opinion, when it comes to blogging and content um, and layout design. And so if you've got a, a website or a brand that's heavy on the content side, but you also sell products that have, you know, special requirements, like maybe... Maybe you don't want to do, you know, your taxes manually uh, in Squarespace. Uh, Shopify is is probably ideal for that. So that said, um, let me show you really quickly how this works. So what I have here is a Shopify Lite plan. Now, Shopify Lite is $9 a month, and it allows you to um, sell on Facebook Messenger and to use this buy now, I mean, this buy button functionality, which I'm going to show you. And you can also use a little point of sale device as well. All right. Now, for reference, um, if cost is a concern, you can use this $9 a month Shopify Lite plan with either a personal or a business plan and you'll actually end up saving some money um, especially if you pay annually all right so here right you can get a personal plan for 16 bucks a month the shopify light for nine bucks a month and that's basically 25 dollars a month and you've got you know the the benefits of squarespace and shopify all in one all right, so the next step here is I uh, uploaded a couple just sample products here. We've got a hat, pants, and a shirt just to simulate some products. Um, and I added all of these products to a single homepage collection. Right here. Okay, and so now if I go to Buy Button and hit Create Buy Button, Okay, I got two options. I can select, you know, an individual product here, or I can select the entire collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a single product for now. We'll do the pants. And you can see the, the different kind of layouts here that you can use. So you can just have a, a, a simple button right and add to car button you can have a you know image title button or you can have the full kind of enhanced view which includes a description other images if they're available and then you can style it right so you know you can show the quantity field let's say you want two pence um so you don't want any corners um you know you can change the the, the button color the width um, you can change the font style and the shopping cart all right so once you've kind of tweaked that to your liking you simply hit generate code copy this to your clipboard and then what i have here is a um, just a simple page and I'm going to add a code block and I'm going to paste paste that here boom all right hit save and so this is what it looks like on the other end so I'll 
I'll refresh this for you, just so you can see the, the pants that we added. So the good thing about this is it gives you a little bit of uh, a little bit more flexibility when it comes to your product page layouts in a sense, um, because you're not restricted to, you know, the usual Squarespace product interface. And so here you see we've got our, our youth hat product right here. We've got our pants. Um, and then below what I did was I embedded the entire collection. All right. So with this, I could probably, you know, I can create a different page for each product, um, maybe embed some type of review widget and, and really just create your own store. Now, what does it look like when you add to cart? This is pretty important, I think. So you add to cart there. Let's say you want to add some pants. Cool. All right. Now notice how, you know, how seamless this, this is your, your um your customers aren't gonna be like, hey, what happened to the Squarespace checkout? They're just gonna think, oh, this is convenient. All right, so then you hit checkout. And one thing you might want to make note of and take note of is the the domain name here that you use. So this is just a sample shop that I set up called Tegareg. Um, but you'd want to maintain some brand consistency between your, your Squarespace store and your Shopify checkout. And then someone could just check out, all right? Real simple, nothing crazy. Um, and so if you had something like auto pay set up, right? Then your customers would be able to use that. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I think the next video what I'll do is I will show how you can actually Let's say you've got a bunch of products on Squarespace. Um, I'm going to show you how you can export and import and basically migrate those products over to Shopify so that you can, you know, more easily leverage this. All right. If you got any questions, you can always reach out to me, Omari, O-M-A-R-I at sqspthemes.com. Or you can just uh, jump into our Facebook group called Squarespace Entrepreneurs on Facebook and throw a question out there and um you know if i don't see it and get back to you, someone who can help probably will all right take care peace